A senior Israeli official warns Washington to back Egypt's military or risk the end of peace efforts between Israel and the Palestinians. We'll have that and more right here, right now on the News Hub. Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Simon Constable. Joining me now is Wall Street Journal Middies correspondent Charles Levinson. He comes to us from Tel Aviv. Charles, uh, what is the latest? Well, to, to clarify that, to clarify what the, the, the senior Israeli official I spoke with said, it, you know, it wasn't uh, an overt, explicit threat that Israel would, would end peace talks if uh, the U.S. didn't back Egypt's military. But what the Israeli position is, is that, look, Saudi and Egypt have historically and still today played very crucial roles uh, in supporting negotiations and giving the Palestinians the support they need to, to, to stay in negotiations, to make concessions. And this, this official basically said, look, if you, if you lose Egypt, if you alienate Egypt, and if you lose Saudi, you know, good luck you know, seeing any progress in, in the peace, peace talks. Okay, uh, and 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 that's uh, it's also very important for for is, Israel as well to have a strong ally in Egypt, right? Uh, yeah, of course. You know, Egypt, Israel's southern border is Egypt, and and, and you have that Sinai Peninsula. Uh, it's a very long, porous land border. Uh, Sinai is very restive. Uh, you know, Israel depends on Egypt to secure that border to keep law and order in the Sinai um, to prevent militants and radicals of various stripes from, from gaining foothold there. And so, yes, of course, Israel does not want to see chaos and anarchy on its southern border. Okay, and, and it's already got um, what amounts to chaos and anarchy on its, its northern border with, with Syria, right? We've got, we got Syria um, deep, deep, deep in civil war. Um, Jordan is there with hundreds of thousands of refugees. Um, it, it, Iraq close by with um, bombs going off uh, every, every other day. It seems this is increasingly looking like a mess. Yeah, of course. I mean, the, the, the region seems to be headed in this direction where Israel can see itself sort of surrounded by this arc of instability. Um, you mentioned Syria, of course. We know what's going on there. Lebanon is not exactly a model of stability and is only getting worse as Syria gets worse. Jordan has, uh, you know, which shares the longest border with Israel um, and is probably more crucial to stability in Israel than any other country, uh, at least among its immediate neighbors. It's been destabilized by growing discontent with the king there and, uh, and the influx of hundreds of thousands, I guess over a million now, refugees from Syria. And now Egypt, obviously going in a, a very worrying direction in the wake of the military's ouster of Morsi and the crackdown on, on protesters in the past week. Okay, well, let's hope some diplomacy can reign and th sort things out. Thank you very much, Charles Levinson of The Wall Street Journal. We appreciate your time, sir.